Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, FAA certifies Piper's M600, Egypt Air Flight 804 flight and voice recorders being evaluated. Blue Origin completes a successful test flight. I'm Brie Cross, it's June 20th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Piper Aircraft's new flagship, the M600, has received FAA certification. The announcement was made from the company's headquarters in Vero Beach, Florida. Piper Aircraft President and CEO Simon Cattlecott said in part, quote, with unique and innovative safety features for the single-engine turboprop segment, the competitiveness of the M600 is further enhanced by the aircraft's performance and industry-leading operating and acquisition costs. The total flight hours accumulated during development and certification were in excess of 1,850 hours using three flight test aircraft. The M600 maximum range originally expected to be 1,200 nautical miles with MBAA IFR reserves has been increased to a maximum range of 1,484 nautical miles at intermediate cruise settings with reserves. Additionally, the planned maximum cruise speed has been increased to 274 knots true airspeed and the maximum payload is set to be 1,100 120 pounds. Both the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder from Egypt Air Flight 804 have been recovered and handed over to Egyptian authorities. Sources report that the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder were brought up from the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea late last week. Both were recovered from the wreckage at a reported depth of 9,000 feet. Accident investigators will begin to attempt to extract information from the two devices immediately if they are in good condition. An Egyptian official said in a statement that the, quote, analysis of the data may take several weeks. Egypt Air Flight 804 went down on May 19th in the Mediterranean Sea with the loss of all 66 people on board. After the break, Blue Origin Flight is broadcast live. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. If you're a dad, it may sound like a bummer to have to work on Father's Day. However, for those dads that were working towards the successful fourth launch of Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket into space for a test mission on Sunday morning, it was probably a very special time. The launch took place at about 10.30 Eastern Time and was the first time that Blue Origin had streamed the entire flight live on their website. There's something special about watching the real thing occur while listening to a couple of very excited Blue Origin experts explain every detail of the operation. The booster performed flawlessly and the intentional landing of the crew capsule with one of the three parachutes inoperative appeared to go exactly as planned. The live broadcast used tracking cameras to show the entire flight from start to finish. It was fascinating to see the crew capsule separate from the booster in real time and follow the entire operation of both the booster and the crew capsule from takeoff to landing. We at ANN congratulate Blue Origin for their successful flight and we applaud them for sharing it with live streaming coverage. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. There are just some things that you've got to do, and for Spencer Sutterman, it was setting the record for the number of inverted flat spin turns. This video shows you just how much fun that can be. Search Full Flight Pilot POV 98 Turn on YouTube. After these messages, Bombardier CS100 gains more credentials.
Bluebird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA and EASA have awarded type validation to Bombardier for the CS-100 aircraft. This follows the CS-100 aircraft type certification by Transport Canada in December and paves the way for the delivery of the first CS-100 to launch operator Swiss International Airlines. The U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, have started training flights in preparation to resume the team's Pensacola practice and airshow season schedules. The first training missions were visible to the public over Pensacola Beach last Thursday. The L3 Aviation Products Lynx NGT-9000 has been chosen by Martin Air Aviation as the ADSB solution for its Cessna Caravan turboprop cargo aircraft. Deliveries and installations have begun and are expected to be complete well ahead of the 2020 ADSB mandate. The FAA is working to address concerns that low-flying aircraft could cause walruses to stampede and kill their pups or harm humans. Alaska Native villagers, pilots, and other stakeholders express concerns about the effects of low-flying aircraft when the animals are on land. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The 800th airplane in Pipistrel Cenus and Vera's family has rolled off the company's assembly line. The aircraft will soon be shipped to a buyer in Argentina. Representatives of the customer traveled from the other side of the world to join Pipistrel employees at a rollout event for the Milestone airplane. The Pipistrel distributor team from Argentina were eager to accept the keys from the representatives of Pipistrel at the company's headquarter facility. Ivo Boscaro, the general manager of Pipistrel, said, quote, In the today's world of crisis in aviation industry, it is an enormous achievement to produce 800 aircraft from the same line of products. This is a success on par with the 70s when the aviation was in the phase of its fastest development. Boscarol added, this places Pipistrel in the leading position among all the producers of Microlite Aviation and LSA on the global scale. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.